because everybody loves carpet licking, or you should. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sully's channel. I had to travel for work, and I'm, I'm one of the ones who has to travel and deemed essential and, you know, all special, and I'm not. I'm just going to say I'm not, and I didn't want to travel, and I'm scared of my life. I'm, I'm, I'm actually genuinely worried. I've used two bottles of antiseptic, what do you call that stuff, hand sanitizer that work provided. I've gone through multiple cans of Lysol, and I wanted to come sit in this hotel that I have uh, scrubbed a good bit more than I should have. It smells like, I don't know, like an operating room in here. You could probably lick the carpet and uh, be pretty happy, you know, because everybody loves carpet licking, or you should. But I want to, I want, I want to talk face to face because I've heard that some people think this is a hoax, and I have to say, if you think it's a hoax, then, uh, mm, man, whoever's running the show on this hoax already has all the power in the world, and they don't need to trick you into anything because if you can get every country to do what we're doing holy crap but that gets me to my next point my grandfather my grandfather I'm, I'm 43 all right my grandfather fought in world war ii my father volunteered for vietnam all right our our ancestors went and fought war for their way of life and think about that they they went out and they they put their hands down and i know many of yours yours did too i know I know. And they put their hands down and they swore an oath and they fought for our way of life. All right. And if you happen to be Russian on this, uh, your ancestors probably fought for their way of life. And we're sitting here in quarantine and people are whining about being in quarantine. And uh, when you think about it, all you have to do to save your way of life is sit at home and binge Netflix. I was born for this. Born for this. I am a 90s gamer. I was born to sit at home and binge. Because I, I can tell you, I have at least 900 hours of games I could play. I've got FPV quads out the wazoo I could fly. I've got micros out the wazoo I could fly. I've got projects to do. I could not leave my home for at least a month. And other than food, psh, man. So here we are asking many, many, many people how, what, what can we do to, to, to get through this national emergency? And it's an emergency, I'm sorry, right now. I, I traveled, I'm, I'm putting up some, some DVR of my trip. And if you know anything about Charlotte traffic, I didn't tap the brakes on the way here. And it's a ghost town. And I had to get dinner here tonight. And it was literally park across from the restaurant a guy came out, got my, got my credit card, went back in, came back out. I noticed it was sanitized, so I appreciate that from him. And then he brought my food out, and we were happy and on our way. And it was delicious. But there was no contact there. And it was it, like he stayed at least three or four feet away from me, passing stuff on what was an obviously sanitized dish. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I, I wish we didn't have to do it. But... I'm seeing way too much bitching and whining and moaning and groaning. But I want you to ask yourself, the, the, the whining and moaning groaning because we're doing all the social distancing and, oh, it's such a burden and I can't stay at home. I've got to get out and do, I like to socialize. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, come on. You're being asked to sit at home and watch Netflix. Your internet works because you're watching me and everything works. Like you've got water coming in, you have power. You have internet. Hopefully you have income and hopefully a bill passes that will keep you with income. And of the sacrifices to make, you're, you're, you're talking about how hard it is to stay at home and be antisocial for a couple of weeks or a month or five weeks, five weeks, month, two months, whatever it is. And I want you to ask yourself, with the way this thing happens to affect people, especially Americans. It seems to be taking a harder toll on Americans. Uh, several studies have shown we, we take it a little bit worse than most. 
Um, the, the cases are more severe. But when you think about it, you, you're being asked, all right, stay indoors or risk having 2 million Americans die or about 4% of the population. And even if that number is 2% of the population, that's still hundreds of thousands of people. And before you say, yeah, flu kills more, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Flu doesn't kill at the same rate. It's not even close. Not even close. But you're being asked to, to do it. And if you think like, oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to be brave and I'm going to go out and do whatever. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about this. I, I want you to look at 100 people near you. And I want you to pick out three of them that you could kill. And that's it. Like, just kill them. Because that's pretty much how this works. And that's the honest, easiest, best way I can explain it. Is just pick three people and pow. Out of 97. Four people. Five people. If it's over 70, pick eight. If it's over under 60, eh, pick three. Yeah, that sounds good. About two, two and a half, three. Just pick them off. Because that's that's what you're doing. You're, you're isolating because you think, oh, I'm healthy and I won't get it, obviously. So, you know, why, why am I having to do all this? I'm, I'm not getting And if I get it, eh, it's like a cold or a flu or something. I want you to ask yourself, like, really, do you think everything in this entire world is about you? Because like she said, you're so vain. I bet you think this song's about you, and it ain't. It ain't about you. It's about your grandmother or that person who picked you up when you were a kid and like tossed you off the bridge into a river because, you know, you enjoyed it and it was fun to go flying right before you dove in the water. You know, it's about that older person in your life who really is compromised. Personally, for me, I'm, I'm worried sick about getting it. I'm, I'm making myself sick, trying not to get sick because my wife and, and me to some extent. My wife, though, definitely immunocompromised. And I have several friends who are. And if they got it, they're dead. Like, dead. Because they can't take the treatments that... They can't even take the treatments for flu. So that is, instead of a week of misery, it's, it's a long time of misery. And there are many people like that out there. If you're diabetic, millions of people are diabetic. If you have uh, lung disease, if you've been vaping for a while, if you have been a long time smoker, if you have asthma, if you have some blood clotting disease, if you have, <laughs> and even if you don't, 40 year old power cyclists are dying from this junk. So all I'm asking is for you to do what I am dreaming of doing one day, which is to sit my fat ass down on a couch, kick back and just binge shows, play video games, play computer games, like do electronics work. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, the world, the economy sucks, but would you trade your grandmother's life for 200 grand? Like, would you? And if you do, don't tell me. I wouldn't trade them for any of my money. So when someone says, oh, the economy can't take it, it can. We can survive. We built this thing from the ground up. We can build it from the ground up again, but we need people. And uh, we need those people who are older and we need those people who are younger. It's not just affecting the young, the old people. It's affecting everybody. And yeah, whenever they, ooh, the economy, the economy will take it. It will. We weren't always at the top. We'll always fight to be at the top. That's what we do. Be safe out there. Don't do anything stupid. Don't hang out in a freaking party and just, just, just to go against this whole social distancing thing. Because I promise you, none of this, none of this is about you, but about who you affect. I will say, with all the hand washing going around, I've noticed that not many of my friends actually have caught colds this year, which is great. Knock on wood. No colds, no flu. Not many of them anyway, especially at work. But we do have these dry, cracked hands, and it does suck because I don't like it. Man, it hurts. But, uh, yeah, I'd rather have that than parts of my lung disappearing. And I hope, I hope in two weeks we look at it and we go, oh, cases are dead. That's what I'm hoping. It won't be two weeks. It'll be about five weeks if we were to totally shut down. Five to seven weeks. Maybe a little bit longer because you're still going to have it. But I'm hoping in two months we go, ooh, that was an overreaction. Because that's what you want. Because in two months, if the predictions are right, it's going to be some hell to pay. And that's going to suck. A lot worse than sitting at home on my ass watching TV. And uh, if you want to know if traveling is fun, this sucks because I can't do anything. 
I'm out. I don't get to travel that much. I can't go out to eat, can't sit on the patio, can't do da 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 da. So I'm hoping this passes very quickly and I hope at the end of it, it is truly, 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 truly an overreaction because we did such a good job at it. I want to thank you so much though. My name's Sully. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about this thing and if you think we're, we're just overreacting. I appreciate you all and we will talk to you later.